Hello, I am Philip Zimbardo, the creator of the Stanford Prison Experiment back in 1971. The heroine of the experiment was Christina Maslach, who was a recent Stanford PhD brought in to conduct interviews with the prisoners and guards. She strongly and openly objected when she saw her prisoners suffering so much. Out of 50 or more outsiders who had seen our prison, she was the only one who questions its morality. Once she counted the power of the situation, it became clear that the study should be ended. Her actions challenged my authority as well as our future romantic relationship. I listened to her wisdom, ended the experiment, and soon married her. Christina has been my wife for 44 years. I cite this example because of the genocide happening now in Aleppo. People are being exterminated there. I am speaking to the UN Agency and Security Council to step in to stop this genocide, similar to those in Rwanda and the town of Srebrenica in Bosnia. I am also speaking to the Western community activists. There is an urgency to stand up for humanitarian values, for human rights, for justice, now. Aleppo is the second capital of Syria, the industrial capital. Now more than 270,000 people have been besieged for more than a hundred days. Unimaginable. They are living in very severe circumstances where all kinds of heavy and banded weapons are used against civilians and public facilities. The bombardments are targeting hospitals, schools, markets and their homes. All hospitals have run out of services. The city has run out of all basic commodities. There is no fuel or wood or heating, no electricity. More than 1,500 people have been killed, 200 women and 300 children, kid over the past 100 days. But these horrific death numbers are increasing steeply by the day. I want to mention the five steps to tyranny as follows. Us and them. Use, using prejudice to force the fictional notion of the existence of superior and dominant in-groups and inferior and powerless out-groups. The second one is obey orders mindlessly. Insist that all people under your wing are to obey your orders. The third step to tyranny is dehumanize the enemy. Emphasize on making uh, uh, f f uh, different factions look less than human. Next is four, is stand up or stand by. Suppress dissenting or opposing uh, opinions to your own. So instead of standing up, you stand by. And the fifth is suppress individuality. Force the development of group identities while suppressing the individual. Show that the fourth step, which is stand up or stand by, is the tipping point of the whole process of creating tyranny. It's time for us to stand up before the total extermination takes place in this country. It is time to protect international humanitarian law. It is time to activate that vital law so we are not only protecting the people of Aleppo, but we are protecting the future of the human race. It is also a time to stand up together to stop the killing and to promote real peace. In my prison experiment, Christina Mazak stood up for her values. She was the tipping point to stop that fifth step. Every one of us can take similar action to Christina's. If we stand up against discrimination, we will not have we and them in our society. If we stand up for awareness and freedom, we will not have blind obedience to authority. If we stand up against this hatred, we will stop people doing harm to others. We will stop the escalation of violence. Today, we are not standing up only for Aleppo or Syria. Today, we are standing up to implement the fundamental moral values that we believe in. We are standing up to protect human beings and to protect our coming generations. If we don't stop this tragedy soon, the extermination is definitely going to accelerate. Then we go to the new step, the sixth step, which is denial. Will we deny that this, this same way we denied Rwanda in the past or Abu Ghraib in Iraq? Will we deny the same way that we denied the invasion of Iraq or ally with earlier deniers of the Nazi Holocaust? Will we deny it until we find ourselves in a bunker with no electricity, no hospitals, where the smell of fear lives in the air, where we are truly hopeless and truly clueless. Now we are not helpless. We still have the free will to speak out against evil. We can not deny the negative realities of our present for the sake of our future, which hopefully is wonderful, could be wonderful. Speak out, stand up, take heroic action to save the lives of thousands of people in Aleppo. 
Fight for peace. Become a social change agent for peace. Join any movement that can stop the killing. And the United Nations must re-examine the goals on which it was founded decades ago. Its leaders must take corrective immediate re resolutions to maintain respect for international law. The only way to do that is by standing re resolutely for the truth in Syria in order to save its innocent, suffering civilians. Please stand with Aleppo. Thank you for caring, Thank, and I hope to share this idea with many other people as well.